communities. Um, I mentioned Next Gen HQ is an incredible organization run by these two young guys in their 20s from, I think, the University of Pennsylvania. And it's about networking for the next gen, you know, of the kids that we're talking about. And every Wednesday, they have a coffee chat at like two o'clock. And everybody can go on who is listening to this can go on their website, Next Gen HQ. And in their newsletter on the bottom, it tells what the community is doing. And oftentimes, you'll find looking for an IT person, looking for a digital marketing person. And then if you could say, I'm part of Next Gen HQ, it gives you a, like a leg up on interviewing because people want to hire people from their tribe. It's just the way it's going now. You know, if you're recommended by someone, I had a kid up in um, a school up in Rhode Island who wanted to be in um, uh, auditing and, you know, like, like PWC, like Price Waterhouse and um, accounting. And he didn't know where to go or, you know, he was doing the career fairs. I happen to know somebody who happened to know the senior level person, the partner at PwC in Boston. So it was one phone call. Could you look at this guy's resume? He got pulled out from the career lineup into a private interview. We had coached the interview and he got the job. In fact, he got five offers from all the accounting firms. And by the way, he had Tourette. Not that that's a thing. But we talked about that. And when we were talking, I said, you know, what would be a great thing to do is maybe start a club called account for something because he was a tennis um, leader. You know, he had done like tennis throughout his high school years. Account for something and find the local banks and the local accounting firms and raise money for Tourette's. Do you know that was, and he did, he started it at his college. Every single person who interviewed him, forget where he went to school, forget his GPA, forget this. They loved the idea that started account for something and they wanted to bring it into their business. Uh, social consciousness is so important today and especially Correct. Gen Z. They're really, really into that in terms of, you know, how they shop and how they think and companies really have to be aware. That is a great story. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So yeah, is that a really typical is. way that you, that you work with? I guess I, I'm curious to hear like, What's a typical way that you work with your students, your, your clients? Like, what's the process? What's the DEB process? This is the Your Career Design Lab DEB process. <laughs> I'm glad you asked that. So what we do is we, unlike what colleges do, right? So we start with the to-da list, and we really excavate. I call it excavation because we oh, really dig deep scary. into your business. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, it's really good because you find some amazing treasures. If you can believe, you know, you get through the mud and you find incredible treasures. Once we start to excavate through the to-da list, what it is that may be like a passion about, then I have about 40 proprietary questions that every employer will ask. Like, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? You know, what do you want to be five years from now? What, you know, all the questions. And typically how people will answer, if I was to say, oh, it's so nice to have you, what is your strength? And you go, I'm really good at organization and I like to work with teams. Instead of when I was, and what I help them to do is tell a story. Well, I'm really glad you asked that question because at 12 years old, um, my parents lived in LA and I got an idea that I really wanted to move to Beverly Hills. So I put together a whole campaign um, to my parents of all the reasons why we should move to Beverly Hills. And every day I would come up with a new kind of program or a PR campaign to convince them. So we started looking at houses and with six months, we moved to Beverly Hills. And I realized at 12 years old that I had the power of persuasion. I had the power to move people to better places in life. What's a better response to what is your strength? I mean, absolutely, because it gives you an example and people can relate to that. That's like correct. Perfect. Correct. Yeah. So for the 40 some questions or the 38 questions that every employer will ask you, we go over every question and create a story around it. So that when the client then has four or five amazing stories that they now become them. You know, I relate it to being an actor. If you were up for an audition of a bag lady, you wouldn't come in gucci out. You would come out of the elevator looking like a bag lady, being in that space so that instantly a casting director can see and feel you as that. That's what I do with the college kids. 
they become their story. So when they go in for the interview and the guy goes, oh, just a minute, I'm ordering my sandwich. And they go, yeah, I'll have a tuna sandwich and a little almond milk on the side. And the girl and the kids are going, oh, my God, they hate me. Oh, my God, he's ordering the tuna sandwich in front of me. And they go back to what is your strength. They don't get wigged out. They go, oh, so glad you asked. As I was saying, and it comes from strength. From there, we put that onto your resume and we create a branded resume. I had a kid the other day with no, with all due respect, who was a junior in college, and he goes, "The last time I did a resume was in high school." Yeah. So oh, we no. now, yeah. So we created a branded resume. Then we put the cover letter together, which tells more of your story. From there, I do outreach on behalf of my clients and just trying to connect them. And I and and saying, hey, this is an incredible person. I think you should talk to them. Or here's what you need to do. Here, you need to write the email, say that you know me. And I I am happy to say that I have a hundred percent placement rate. And it's just wonderful because I allow the kids to then go out and make it happen on their own while I sit on the bleachers after, you know, so that they can make the play. And then I'll follow up. Like Here's another instance. I have an incredible kid who is an artist, is a performer, but I'm getting him. But he, during this time, he happened to be interviewing like NBA players because he's connected to them through his family. And he's been with the family. He's created a thing called Music Basketball Life, a, a genius, interviewing Dwayne Wade. Like, what are they doing now sitting at home? You know what I mean? What music did they listen to to win the NBA championship? I happen to know somebody at William Morris an ex-William Morris person, and I kind of was telling them about this kid. He said, give him to me. I, people are looking for content for this kind of stuff right now. I can make them into something. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Very it just cool takes, stuff. it's like two millimeters. Tony Robbins always says that, right? It's two millimeters. It's one touch, like one moment can completely change your life. That's so exactly you're right like there. the fairy godmother for these kids. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it's just, and th because they don't, like he was on this trajectory to be a singer, which he's a great singer, but there's a bigger world out there. And so I just opened up the lens a little bit to see all the possibilities. And that's what I, th I think a lot of kids need today is what are the possibilities and how do I fit into that? You know what? I love that you said that because I, I, on the last episode, I was talking about that as well with um, one of my guests and the fact that they don't know no. what's out there all the time. Like they just see the traditional paths maybe or what they know from their family, but like they don't always know what's available. So it's so helpful to, to provide that perspective. Yeah. That, you know what? It's really interesting to me that you say that because that was another client that I've been working with who is going to a college and I won't name the college but as we're talking he's like I'm really into music and I'm really into, I go what what are you doing at that college then and 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 I got him now so many things are online and there's a certain software that he is is working with you know for his music I said I'm sure there's other colleges that deal in something like that sure enough at Berkeley School of Music they deal with this software called Appleton and now he signed up to get the certificate in this thing. And, I, and he didn't even know that existed. He was like just existing instead of making his passions existable. You know, that's not even a word. But you know what I mean? Exist. You, and you so, help and now, pull it out. Existing. Yeah, you help pull it out of them. That's super cool. Yeah. So, so cool. So he's so excited. I, I really, I, I, my heart is so warmed up by your stories, Dad. We can go on forever, but we have to wrap up. So there's one last question I need to ask. And that is, I know you're going to say there's more than one, but if you could just give one piece of advice to these girls getting ready to graduate, what would it be? Don't be a worrier, be a warrior. Oh my gosh, I love that. Don't be a worrier, be a worry, warrior, because worrying doesn't do anything, right? If you're going to pray, don't worry. If you're going to worry, pray. That's what I always say. That is awesome. I love that, Gina. I love what you just said, too. <laughs> it's so true. I changed a kid. A kid actually called me one time about that, about, like, when you said that, it just changed for me. Like, you have a choice. You have a thought in the moment, and your thought is what drives your feelings. 
It's as simple as that. So if you want to be a warrior, your thought's going to create your feelings. If you want to be a warrior, you have a thought of a warrior, it's going to create your feelings. You have Just the choice. Putting it in the universe. Absolutely. So guests, if you want to get in touch with this phenomenal godmother, fairy godmother, what is the best way, Miss Cooper, to get in touch with you? The website? Yes, you can go to my website, www.yourcareerdesignlab.com, or I'd love to hear from your listeners at info, I-N-F-O, at yourcareerdesignlab.com. And by the way, Jeannie, I am offering for your listeners today a half-hour free consultation. If somebody has an idea for their story or direction they want to go to, I'm more than happy to speak with them for free for a half hour. That is such a gift. And she beat me to the punch because I was going to tell you, I'm leaving you guys with this thought. Do you know your story? Find out who you are and what you want to be with our Deborah Olshan Cooper, founder of Your Career Design Lab. You can help. You can go over to my site, supergirls.com. That's two L's, a second L for love, and get more information as well as her site. We won't let you alone we will find you and we will help you be the best you can be get your story down deborah thank you so much for being on the show today and, and sharing all of your wisdom and amazing stories because you are the grant storyteller <laughs> 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 the queen of story <laughs> we love her guys thanks for being with us and don't forget to do that go to her site or my site find your story find your life. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks Love for tuning it. in today on the Hero Whispers. Deborah XOXO.